Hi, this is M0AV. Just going to do some tests with a 857D and an 8S120. Just going to make sure the car's out of gear. Just mobile at the moment, well, in the car. And um, I'm just getting everything set up. So, just going to start the car so I've got enough power to make sure everything's going to be working right. That's the 857D coming online. And through the mirror there, just, let me just grab it, just there, there's the ATAS. So, I've just done the mirror so I can actually see it going up and down. Uh, it rained yesterday, absolutely poured it down. And what I want to do today, I'll just show you how I've got the ATAS anyway. So, that's how I've got my ATAS. So I've got um, the lead, the radio lead, or sorry, the uh, antenna lead, just there on the back, as you can see there, the silver one, and then two grounding leads. Um, the grounding leads are at the bottom connection and then I'll show you in a little bit I'll show you now it's easier so how I've actually done it straight up there you can see the grounding lead hopefully they're connecting to the bottom of this and then they come all the way down so I'm using a Picasso um, I've grounded just there and I've also grounded here and that goes all the way down and then it's connected there so if I take one of these off at least you'll be able to see one of them so they're actually screwed on there so that's grounded to the bodywork there and the other one's exactly the same. So, that's exactly the same, but that's got two leads. It's got an earthing strap and uh, a wire as well. And as you can just see on the side there, that's where it's connected. So, that's how I've got it. So hopefully it should be grounded enough uh, for the bodywork. So as I say, it's all nice and secure. Um, there's my 2 and 70 antennas. Uh, one for the ATAS. That's the bottom one there. And my 2821 there. And they work without any real problem. It's just really the ATAS. As I say, with the ATAS, um, yesterday he was pouring it down <coughs> and it re wouldn't really tune. So, let me try now. It's tuned on 20 metres, so let me just tune on uh, 40 metres. Um, let's just put it right so you can get SWR. Okay, so we're on tune now, the ATAS is on, as you can see from there, ATAS, and while it's tuning, or while I press tune, I'll actually keep an eye on the antenna, see if it actually works. And at the moment, I'm looking at the ATAS and it's not going up at all so at the moment it's not working so let me just stop this so now just put it back on ATAS turn this radio off pop back out <coughs> to the back of the car and I'll undo the ATAS
I am thinking about um, going on Earth, some Earth somewhere on the bottom here. This is all the stuff that's there. That's uh, lacquer, clear lacquer, just to give it a bit more waterproofing. So that's off now. So the ASAS is off. So reconnect everything. And I know the ATAS will work now. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So that's the ATAS back on, nice and secure. Everything secure there. Pump, come back round. Jump back in the car. It's the ATAS on. And now, if I go tune, now the ATAS is working can actually just about hear it and I can see it going up and it's just going to tune should be quite soon as you can see there no nope, some reason it's stopped so let me come back off there and try it again. No, it's still stopped. So, that's my problem at the moment. Right, I'll post this one, and then when I get the ATAS working again, I'll repost another one just after this. This is M0AOV with an ATAS 128 problem.